Although Kaylee Cuoco has been married to her billionaire heir husband Carl Cook for a couple years now, it wasn't until earlier this year that they finally moved in together. They jointly purchased a brand new estate in the notoriously fancy Hidden Hills neighborhood. Kaylee owns about four other properties in LA, including a ranch, and formerly lived in a gorgeous Tarzana home occupied by a Kardashian once upon a time. We'll check out three of Kaylee's homes, past and present, including her and Carl's new dream home. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kaylee Cuoco is an actress and producer who's probably best known for her starring role on Big Bang Theory, which is also the role that made her super wealthy. I don't really watch that show, so personally, I know her best from her breakthrough role as Bridget Hennessy on the ABC sitcom Eight Simple Rules, which she starred in from 2002 to 2005. Between this role and The Big Bang Theory, she voiced Brandy Harrington on the cartoon Brandy and Mr. Whiskers and appeared on the final season of Charmed. Kaylee then famously starred as Penny on the CBS sitcom The Big Bang Theory from 2007 to 2019, for which she received People's Choice Awards and other awards for the role. Not to mention at one point, Kaylee was getting paid a whopping $1 million per episode for this role, so I'm pretty sure her bank account is thanking that series. While she's also appeared in films throughout her career, most recently she's starring in the new HBO show The Flight Attendant, for which she's also involved in production. At the time of this recording, with over 20 20 years of acting under her belt, Kaylee has an estimated net worth of around $100 million. She began dating equestrian and billionaire heir Carl Cook in late 2016, and they married in 2018. The couple also loves horses, which explains why they have a ranch or two between them. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we'll be taking a look at where Kaylee Cuoco lives with her husband Carl Cook, like what we know about their current and first mansion together, and two more of Kaylee's properties. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. home is a spot that Kaylee used to live in with her first husband, Ryan Sweeting, up until 2014. According to records, the actress purchased the house in 2010 prior to her marriage to the tennis star, and when it came time to sell, she unloaded it for about $2.5 million. While the home is spacious and gorgeous, once we compare details to her current home, you'll see how far she's upgraded. This place was located in the Sherman Oaks area of Los Angeles, which is a slightly more suburban area in the San Fernando Valley, close to Encino. The Tuscan-inspired house was built over a decade ago but renovated since, and as you'll see, renovated once again after Kaylee moved on out of there. Inside, it spanned 5,233 square feet of living space full of fine furnishings and ideal amenities. It was designed for indoor outdoor living and entertaining like many California style homes and offered five beds and five baths. Among the common rooms, there is a spacious family room and eating kitchen as well as stone fireplaces and interior arches throughout. There were granite walls and hardwood flooring in many of the rooms and at the time, Kaylee had the home done in a Mediterranean and modern design. In Kaylee's master suite, she had a dressing room with extensive shoe racks, two balconies, and even a bathroom including an in-home hair salon with special salon sink. Photos from the time of sale even show the bright hairstyling nook. Another bathroom in Kaylee's former house had a gorgeous bathtub perched by a large window and fireplace. Outside on the property, there was an outdoor living room and fireplace, outdoor kitchen with eat at bar, and a resort style pool and spa, all behind a green garden wall for privacy. In recent years, it seems this home has undergone a big makeover, as current listing photos show the place with an all new white color scheme and fresh designs inside as well. While you can tell it's indeed the same house, it seems like the whole place has been revamped and upgraded since Kaylee sold it. After this place, Kaylee moved on to a home that previously belonged to Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom when they were still an item. So if it looks familiar, that might just be why. Perched on a 0.75 acre lot in Tarzana, California, more specifically in the guard-gated hood of Mulholland Park, this Mediterranean villa was sold to Kaylee for about $5.5 million back in 2014. Unfortunately, Kaylee had trouble selling the home and after almost a year on the market, with lower and lower price tags, she sold the mansion for only $3.95 
five million earlier this year. Her former Tarzana home was only one of eight celeb style mansions in the gated community, spanning about 8,000 square feet inside with uniquely decorated, with eye-catching light fixtures and exotic patterned wallpapers throughout. There were six beds, six full baths, and three half baths. A double height rotunda entry with curved staircase among the highlights of the home and hints to the rest of the glamour that's to come. There are formal living and dining rooms no matter which way you go, one of which with a full service bar. There's a gourmet kitchen with circular breakfast nook and a family room with fireplace and another bar. Daring colors and a sense of fun define the home, which was designed by Jeff Andrews while Khloe Kardashian was still living here. Kaylee claimed she fell in love with the place as is, so it didn't need to be redecorated much, but she worked with Jeff again to make sure the home had her own touch. For example, in the living room, the rug was custom made to match the colors in the actress's favorite painting, and horse details can be found throughout the home too. Elsewhere in the mansion, there's a plush screening room, a library office with custom built-ins, and guest bedrooms, one with gold and silver wallpaper. Kaylee's former master suite boasted a fireplace, private view terrace, and not one, but three customized walk-in closets, including one just for shoes. Outside in the backyard is designed for entertaining with a ton of terrace space, shaded dining areas, outdoor kitchen and bar seating, as well as a fire pit and swimming pool and spa. Most recently, Kaylee and her husband Carl finally moved in together early this year. The pair settled on a mega mansion in the Hidden Hills neighborhood known for its high profile celebrity residence and being the wealthiest hood around. Records show that Kaylee and Carl have a 50-50 stake in the house, which sold for $11.75 million, but since the deal went down off market, exact details and interior picks are hard to come by. We do know the estate was built on spec by local developer Peter Baer of Strategic Acquisitions, who bought the 1.5 acre corner lot from an NBA star. He tore down the existing home and replaced it with a sprawling mansion built in a trendy modern farmhouse style. We can see the exterior is mostly crisp and white, with an old time white picket fence surrounding the property, which is a rare feel for a Hollywood mansion. The estate also may offer some horse facilities like stables or a riding rink because Kaylee and Carl are both known equestrians and there are numerous trails in this community devoted to horseback riding and other outdoor activities. Since they married back in 2018, it's also been said the couple has been devoted to building this dream home with plenty of land for their dogs, rabbits, goats, and horses. Sounds like a dream to me. Even last year, Kaylee started sharing glimpses into the mansion progress over on social media. We were able to see the light and airy kitchen with white and glass cabinets, huge windows, and a vaulted ceiling. What could be a living room also had a vaulted ceiling with the beams stained dark brown to match the dark wood floor that runs through part of the house. When moving in this past Spring, Kaylee shared more of their home and documented every moment of the move, even with a full house tour on her Instagram stories. We got to see the expensive blue La new stove they splurged on, some of the custom furniture, and even the stairs by the front door with the towering ceilings above. From aerial views of the property, we can also see they have everything from a large guest house to a swimming pool and spa. So while we don't know the exact details of Kaylee and Carl's Hidden Hills dream home from the pics and vids she shared, we can get an idea of how they designed it. Not to mention, aerial shots show how massive the property is. That being said, I think we'll wrap up this house tour here. After seeing three of Kaylee Cuoco's mansions, including her current one, what did you guys think? It seems to me that the Hidden Hills property is the most gorgeous of them all, but I also like the fun designs of her previous home in Tarzana. Be sure to rate them in the comments. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to my personal channel where I post a new video every Sunday and leave me a comment there so we can chat. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!